Hey, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today, we're going to show you all how to use a multi-timbral VST like Omnisphere in your MPC Studio software. Now, if you have Complete 10 or something like that, or a machine, you probably saw our other channel video where we showed you all how to use contact in the machine. I'll put the link for that below in case you own one. But, let's go ahead and get started with our MPC. Now, if you recognize this beat, I had it up for other tutorials, and this is what it sounds like. Alright, that's pretty much what it sounds like. So, let's go ahead and pull up Omnisphere so I can show you that I have three different instruments loaded up in Omnisphere. Alright. I have three different instruments in Omnisphere, as you can see. One, two, and three. But notice, only the one on channel one is playing. The reason for that is because my second and third instruments are on different channels, but I haven't set my MIDI channels on the MPC Studio software, so they're not playing, which is a common problem everybody runs into. So. With something like Omnisphere, it's really simple to do. All you have to do when you have your instruments loaded up is go back to the studio software. And at the bottom where it says MIDI channels in your program section, you switch it to correspond with the actual channel that the uh, you know instrument is loaded on in the software, like so. Notice the instrument from MIDI channel 1 is playing. So let me switch the MIDI channel over to MIDI channel 2. Alright, so now that the channels correspond, you can hear that sound. So let's do the same for MIDI channel 3. Let's switch to that track and switch the MIDI channel in the software as well. Alright, you see how that works now? And then if we unsolo it. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Just to make sure you got it, I'll pull up contact so you can see how that works as well. All right, with contact, it's the same general premise. All you have to do is click on the actual software instrument, change your MIDI channels, and make sure everything corresponds with the MIDI channels in the software, and you'll be good to go. So I'll go ahead and run through that, and then we'll be out. All right, so notice the MIDI channel was on A1. We're gonna switch it to A2 because this particular channel is on MIDI channel two. And you should hear. But let's say we switch the piano to MIDI channel three. we don't hear the piano anymore. We don't hear the piano anymore because our MIDI channel on the software is still on two and not three. So let's switch our MIDI channel to three and we'll see that.
And there you have it. That's how you use a multi timbral VST in your MPC Studio software. Once again, this is Drum Machine Addicts. Don't forget to add us on YouTube, subscribe to us, send us an email if you have any questions, and hit us up on our newsletter so we can keep you in the loop and let you know what's going on. Follow us on social media, we'll follow you back. Peace. <laughs>